the question came in on what do you mean when you say stop loving your partner? Um, just that. Stop loving your partner. Stop loving your kids. Stop loving your partner. Stop loving your family members. Um, until you can start learning how to give them healthy love. And I'm going to tell you all right now, I know most people did not learn healthy love and that you're not giving your partner healthy love. Um, you're probably giving them conditions. And what happens is, is we don't learn healthy love when we're growing up. We learn conditional love. Right. If you do this, if you eat your broccoli, then you'll be good. If you get good grades, then you'll be good. If you clean your room, then you'll be good. And so if we do things, that's when we'll be good. If you watch me getting taken advantage of by your father, if you watch me taking it from an alcoholic parent, if you watch me being self-sacrificing, if you watch me over smothering or overbearing or over controlling your, you know, mother, husband, friend, whoever, then you will understand this is what love is. That's the conditioned programmed you and that is the iPod as I call it and that is your consciousness and that is ego. And it gets subconscious and that consciousness was born awake and then it went and became unawake. And the true you knows better. The true you knows what it feels like to be loved and lovable and to be loving. And so when I meet people, they're, be, they're telling me, well, I love them so much. But then you realize that the conditions that you're giving them is relationships don't die because of this is what people tell me. Well, we have money problems and we have sex problems. No, you don't. You have expectation of conditions problems and if they aren't loving you the way you need to be loved which is how you were programmed and conditioned by mom and dad that means you feel unloved by them and that's not true they probably were loving you amazingly they're just not giving you the love you learned that was love when you were growing up and so because you're not doing good at work you expect them to fill in that hole because you had to get good grades at school and when you did you were praised and now you're not getting good grades at work so now you're not getting praise, so you're looking for your husband to praise you to make sure you're okay. It's that basic. 